If you enjoy working with people and solving problems and have both mechanical and technological skills, think about becoming a communication technician. You'll install, maintain, test and repair telecommunication systems that transmit and process voice, video and data signals over fiber optic, microwave, radio, cellular radio and satellite media. We hooked up with a communication technician to learn more. My name is Christian Ramirez and I'm a communications technician. As a communications technician, my job is to deliver customer service in products such as phone, internet, IPTV, installation and maintenance. My job starts by being assigned to different sites. I just confirm with the customers, um, first of all, what they required. Based on that, we just work from there. I roll on site. Um, I just plan with the customer what can be done, how long it will take, and then I continue to the work, informing on every step, every problem that we have. Uh, we have to keep them posted. You have to act quickly. Uh, knowing that you have to go to your next job. I would describe it as being 40% inside a, inside a place and the rest is gonna be out. First of all, if I'm working on, on a road, I have to signal, use cones. We have to be one step ahead and try to prevent anything. Part of the protective gear that I have to use uh, is my safety vest, my hard hat, my uh, voltage detector. What I have to do whenever I'm working on an aerial is basically use my ladder with harness tied up in the post. Uh, so all the equipment and myself are safe. We just go up there, making sure the integrity of the lines are optimal just so we can deliver the best service possible. I have to keep um, present that there's always hazards. We have to work close to electrical lines. The area we work on is low voltage lines, but we're always uh, surrounded by hazards. So we have to be aware and try to work as safe as fast as possible. The tools I use are different kinds of meters, uh, different uh, tools depending on every job. I've been always interested in communications. Um, you could say it's my passion. I kept digging more into it. I just decided that was the path I wanted to follow. I took an apprenticeship program. They teach you all the elements that in, are involved in telecommunications. It's so vast. There's wireless, there's fiber optics, there's INR, which is installation and repair. All these different arms that are, are involved in, in, in the career, you need a specialization, so of course your employer will, will give you that. So what I look for, and I think what most of the industry looks for uh, when getting into the street, is for uh, a self-motivated, self-managed type of person. Being a communications technician means that you're always a student. Technology is always evolving. There's new equipment that you can use. Um, there's new solutions that people will need. I have to be organized. Um, I have to be methodical on my job. And I have to be service oriented because that's what it's all about. It's about the customer. There's nothing better than at the end of every installation or every repair, just leave my business card because that's the guarantee that I provided the best service. The opportunities of advancement in this trade are huge. One day you could be a technician, one day you could be the lead technician of your team, the next day you could become a manager. It's not that typical job that will keep you in the same place from eight to four. I get to travel, I get to be independent. The most satisfying aspect of my job is sharing my knowledge uh, with other technicians, knowing that you could actually help someone to become better in what they do. I really love this job. Um, I want to become the best at it. It gives me the opportunity to do that. And what can I tell you? I just love it. 
To become a journeyman communication technician, you must find an employer who's willing to train an apprentice. You will apprentice for four 12-month periods, including on-the-job training and technical training in each period. Discover more about this occupation, such as educational requirements and salary ranges, in the occupational profile on the ALICE website. And learn about related occupations, like telecommunications technologist and power system electrician. Make the most of your future. Go to alice.alberta.ca.